buying a record player or a turntable in Australia is just a terrible experience. Uh, it sucks. It's not great. Everything new is like literally twice as much as, you know, an American price. Um, everything used just doesn't make sense because there's these random brands that have just been slapped onto other products and cloned. Um, and just, it's hard to find a lot of information. There's no, you know, single source of truth that you can go to um, where people know what they're doing in Australia at least. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make a video about just some tips on what to avoid when you buy. Are you serious? Just chill out. Um, what to avoid when you're buying a record player and maybe some tips on what you, are you, <sighs> some tips on what you can do if you're buying a record player. Um, so first and foremost, there's going to be a lot of generalizations. So, um, yeah, just not everything applies to everything, but a lot of this will apply to most things. So, uh, take everything with a grain of salt. I don't know how that saying goes, pinch of salt. I don't know. Um, but pretty much if your record player has built-in speakers, it's going to be bad. Don't buy it. Uh, if you are buying a record player from a store that sells clothes and shoes, it's going to be bad. Don't buy it. Also, you know, if you're really just starting, it's okay to buy something like that. If you really just want to get into records because you like them, buy a bad record player. That's fine. It's really not going to ruin your records unless it's really a messed up record player. So, ah, it's fine. Um, but don't tell anyone I said that because someone will get mad at me. If you're buying a record player from Aldi, probably not going to be the best record player. But you know what? That's also fine. If you're buying a record player that comes with speakers, but they're not built into the record player, the turntable is probably going to be fine. The speakers are probably not going to be fantastic. That's just, you know, how it works. Still much better than buying a record player with built-in speakers. Another thing not to do, if you're looking on uh, Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, which is, I guess, the Australian version of Craigslist, um, there's just a lot of crap on there. Uh, there is some really bad stuff. So um, if it's a brand you recognize, uh, Google it um, and, you know, check out the reviews. But a lot of them will be brands that you don't recognize and they won't have reviews. If they don't have reviews, the record player is probably going to be bad. And um, so either stay away or buy it if you want. But just know that it's not going to be the best record player. But you know what? If you're just starting... You don't need the best record player. Just give it a crack, see what happens. Most of them will have some kind of output and just get some nice speakers. You probably already have a Bluetooth speaker that ju does just fine. That's great. Um, but yeah, a lot of the ones on Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree, they're just terrible record players. Um, the 20 bucks, the 20 bucks for a reason. Someone's probably upgrading to an actual record player that they bought online for way more than they should have um, but that's just the reality in Australia buying a record player what can you do all right so now for a tip um, if you are buying a record player just ask someone if you don't know about a topic there are people that do you can leave a comment here and someone much smarter than me will probably answer it or if you're in Australia go into a record store and just ask the person working there. They are incredibly lovely and incredibly knowledgeable and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. And you know what? They might be able to give you a deal. They might know someone who's selling a decent record player or they might not and they might be able to tell you, hey, look for this on Gumtree. And that's going to be great. That's probably the best thing that you can do. There's some places I would probably avoid asking questions on the internet um, because People just have such varied opinions and nothing that you can do is going to be right all the time. 
and yeah look there's nothing you can do about that um just take everything that everyone says with a grain of salt people have very strong opinions about uh subjective things anyways thank you for listening uh please let me know if you have any questions happy to answer them it's just started raining and i hope that you can hear that